I'm the Pony Commission. What's poppin' everybody? It's uh it's Jack Moo, man. <laughs> the guru at Giddy Up. But you can also call me your <coughs> <coughs> Nigga, hey, I can't bro. I just got out of watching the 2016 PlayStation E3 briefing. Now before we start off, because I took a couple notes, um uh, I didn't watch all the E3 coverage, and besides a handful of games, you know, Mafia 3, uh, Friday 13th video game, um, that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. The E3 conference was pure, utter trash. Oh yeah, South Park's, uh, Fractured Butthole. Um, Ubisoft's conference was pure and utter trash. Bethesda's conference was pure and utter trash. Microsoft's conference... Believe it or not, even though I hate the Xbox, Microsoft conference, I thought it was okay, man. I thought it was okay. You know, they got a lot of, they making a lot of big promises. I hope they can back, you know, back them up and whatnot. But fuck all that shit. I just got through watching Sony E3 conference. Now, I took some notes, man. We finna touch on some of this shit. They opened up. First of all, I thought it was, they opened up, it was like a little boy playing and shit. I thought it was actually like some Horizon flashback footage. But, you know, they show... Fuck off. Nigga, it's God of War, nigga. They show God of War. It's got a Norse mythology now. I was completely wrong about this game. I said, if anything, we get a teaser trailer. One gonna be no footage. I was wrong. They showed footage. And I was wrong again because I said the idea of God of War going to Norse mythology and, and you know, I didn't like the idea at first, man. But from what I'm saying... The game looks amazing. You, they showed a, a troll boss fight. Uh, you got a you got an axe now. You got trousers on. You know he threw the fucking axe and froze niggas to rocks. The game looks fucking crazy. So they starting off with a banger. Then they show Ben Studio new game. Now everybody thought this game was gonna be called Dead Don't Ride, but apparently it's called Days Gone. They showed the trailer. I was hyped for it, man. We're going to get back to that. Then they show The Last Guardian. That looks pretty dope as well. I'm not really interested in The Last Guardian, but it looks good. Then they got to... Then this is when my balls start to really tingling, right? They show the Horizon Zero Dawn gameplay. They show how, you know, some of the robots can be corrupted and how you can hack some of the robots so you can, like, ride them. And, you know, this this chick, uh, Aloy, she riding dirty, bro. She riding without a license. She she turned around on that thing, started firing, bro. The game, y'all know Horizon, bro. My balls are tingling. My balls are hot for that game, bro. I, I need that game right now. Then they showed Detroit Become Human. It looked cool, you know what I'm saying? David Cage, you know, it's probably going to be pretentious as fuck. You shooting niggas, they got fucking blueberry blood and all this other shit. It look all right. I, I, I might fuck with it. Then they show, now they start this off, they was like, this is the VR section. They was like, you know, before Kitchen. Now, if you don't know what Kitchen is, when they originally announced PlayStation VR, Kitchen was a demo that they were doing, which was a horror, it was a horror demo called Kitchen. You know, a lot of people like, oh, is this PT? You know, it looked real scary, it looked cool. Then a couple up on the screen, you know, uh, Roman numeral 7. Resident Evil 7 with optional VR support. I do believe you can play this game in third person. It looks like it's back to the horror that, you know, 5 and 6 was missing. So that looked real fucking dope. Then, you know, they show PSVR October 13, 3 50 games before the end of 2016 will be launched on PlayStation VR. Then they show some VR games, which I really don't care. They show Farpoint. Then they show uh, Star Wars VR, Batman Arkham VR, Final Fantasy 15 VR. Then they show COD. I don't give a fuck about that. Call for math. I know a lot of y'all hyped about that. Then they show Crash Bandicoot. And they said they remaking three of the classic Crash games from, from the ground up for the PS4. I don't know if these are full remakes like Ratchet and Clank or if they just uh, up res them. And he's coming back to Skylanders. Now, people were upset about this, right? But if you think about it, Crash always been a little silly like fuckboy. So, you know, it's right up. It, it looked like some shit that he do. And for some reason, that game got some pretty good graphics. I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, what did they show after that? Lego, Star Wars, you can get the demo right now. I don't give a fuck. Kojima came out. You know, he had the old grandiose entrance. Uh, he got a new game with Norman Reedus. Some people are thinking this is the spiritual sister to uh, PT. 
Uh, it's called Death Stranding. Then, uh, Insomniac showed, goddamn, Spider-Man. Now, Sucker Punch was rumored to be making a Spider-Man game for the PS4, but it turned out it was actually Insomniac Games. I went from having zero interest, but for what I saw, the game looks very good, and I actually, I'm, I'm thinking about getting it, bro. It looks very nice. Very good. Then they said, okay, we're going to fuck with y'all. You know, thanks for rocking with us. But we're going to show a demo of the game we showed earlier. Here go, day is gone. Okay, I'm just going to say, I saw Dead Rising 4 earlier today. I said, wow, that look okay. You know, never played Dead Rising. It look okay, though. Then I saw uh, State of Decay 2, right? And I've always low-key wanted to play State of Decay. I'm like, wow, that looked pretty cool. I wouldn't mind playing that. Day is gone. They came out on stage, pulled their goddamn pants down and said, Fuck both them games. We shit on the whole situation right now. They got like 100, 200 enemies on screen. It's fucking crazy numbers. Probably ain't even that many. But listen, bro. The game looks dope, crack, all that shit. Then it ended with a sizzle reel, man. I, I kind of went through it fast. Just no. Just no. Sony killed shit. Sony made up for everybody's shortcomings this E3. When EA didn't show y'all nothing but teaser trailers and goddamn Battlefield niggas tap dancing in World War One, Sony came through with the games, man. When Ubisoft showed you people dancing in giraffe costumes and, and Wildlands looking like an early PS3 game, Sony came through with the games, man. When goddamn, uh, who else went? When Bethesda came through with card games and goddamn PC-only shooters brag about 120 frames, Sony came with them games, man. And when Xbox did their best, they did their best when they announced a new system at the beginning of the show and then announced a new or better system at the end of the show like Max Scoville said. Sony came with them motherfucking games, man. Hey, listen, bro. Y'all ask me why I'm a Sony fan. Look no further than the 2016 Sony E3 press briefing. Okay? I'm high stepping right now. And if you ain't got no PlayStation, I don't respect you and I don't like you, bro. I don't. Now, Sony has said that, you know, time and time again, they are for the players. And this just shows you they ain't fucking around, man. Anyway, this is Jack move. I'm about to go play some PlayStation exclusives, waiting on some more PlayStation exclusives. The greatness has arrived, people. Get with it or get lost. Anyway, man, I'm signing out, though. Peace. Tell you a little story, when I shot three rubber whores, caught them on the highway, nigga that's my way, and that's just the middle of the story. The really shit I didn't heard, this I ain't gonna die for him, I'ma die with him. Watch with these sneaky snakes, split up with venom. Sleep that bitch, throw that feet, don't tell who's seen him. Ooh, nigga, what you gonna do, when you find out your whole love in the crew? Relax and sit back and just bust you a brew. And I don't want your bitch, cause she don't come with two. What you been into? Huh? Do you believe in God? Have you read through Hebrews? I did walk so many miles, huh? so so many ounces, and I still haven't seen you. Huh? You claim that you real, real? but I know realer. Chop under my chinchilla. Check the fire house, make it dance like thriller.